Welcome back to a new video here as well. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a little cutout effect. And it's not that complicated. It just takes a little bit of time to create all the different parts that you need to, as you can see here. Now, first of all, if you want this to look better, I would say you should try to add more uh, cutouts of the different people or elements in this next scene. That way it's going to look better rather than just one person coming into the screen like that. And now ignore this part. That is because of the contrast effect that I added and I forgot to take out. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is actually you want to go to Pexels or Unsplash or any other stock website and find some texture. And in this case, we're just going to use these, which is magazines and anything like grunge or paper will work. First, we're going to bring both of our clips into the scene. And the first one, we can just cut it whatever you want. And we're also going to bring that second one. After we have that first clip, we're going to copy these by holding Command or Alt. And we're going to press Shift R to create a freeze frame of the other clip that we have here. We can bring these down here and I'm going to leave the video to run a little bit so that it looks a little bit interesting when this one is still coming into the scene. After that, a good idea is actually to mark, press M here to create a marker. So that way you know where that specific freeze frame is actually appearing on screen too. After that, we can just bring this clip like that and we can cut these and we have these right there. Now, a good thing to do is to create a new fusion clip. That way, if your image is a little bit is bigger than your timeline, then it's not going to get messed up when working in Fusion. After creating a new Fusion clip, open these, close this blind tool, right click and take the high quality off. That way, when you're working, it's not going to lag or anything like that. After we have that, we can bring our texture here and we're going to create a merge node. And as you see here, that what just what I just told you about the resolution just happened because this image is a little bit bigger so then we're gonna have to add a transform node here to change the size of these if you want so we're gonna press 2 on our main clip and we're gonna create a rough polygon mask so first we're gonna invert these and you don't have to make these perfect so just go around quickly because it won't look like a cutout effect if you don't do it like that after you have your mask select all of these then you can actually re or uncheck invert and if we want these to be sharper we can just go and press linear here so that then all the curves that happened when we were creating the mask don't show up again after that we can actually press ctrl and spacebar and add a sharpen effect and then make sure that this is actually coming to the input of the sharpen and we can adjust this sharpen so that it has a little bit more of like a sharp edges here so it looks like, like a scissor cut it it's a subtle thing it's really up to you if you want to do it or not. A little quick interruption. I am working on the creator elements bundle. This is going to be a bundle that's going to cover elements, which are going to be animated elements, tools and graphics that are going to be specifically for creators. If you want to check out the website page where there's a few more details on this, you can go to the link in the description. And that is it for the quick interruption. Let's continue with the video. Now we want to copy these and put these into the transform node. Now the only problem here is that if you do this, since we have this transform node, the actual polygon will be affected too. So it gets messed up because of the resolution issues. So to fix that, what we can do is actually we're going to get rid of that there. We're going to add a background to this second one and we're going to press Ctrl T. We're going to make this background invisible. And then we're going to add the mask to the merge node. That way, they're going to be both of the same size. Now, on this merge node that right here, we're going to go to the apply mode and we're going to set this to screen or overlay. It's up to you. And then you can adjust the gain or the blending so that it looks a little bit better. Another thing you can do here into this one is so this will be the texture. The top one is the texture. We're going to bring this a little bit like that. So we're going to separate these and bring this is the image that we have. And this is our texture. And we're going to add a little bit of contrast to our image just so that it looks a little bit more interesting. 
and then we're gonna go and add a drop shadow to these so we're gonna press ctrl space bar again and add a drop shadow bring these closer to your cutout like that just a little bit and you don't have to make these completely at zero blur so sharp but you can leave it at just a little bit and then we can go and press ctrl c to copy these go to the main image that you have press ctrl shift and c and v that way it's gonna create an instance so that any changes you do in this one it's gonna happen on the other one too after you see it here it doesn't look that great because it, the texture is sort of like overtaking it a little bit so what i like to do is go and add a second copy of the main image that you have here onto a new merge node and you will see right now the effect the texture effect is completely gone again so we're gonna go and adjust the blending mode here and decrease these so that way we still can see this the marks and the little texture stuff a little bit without the texture itself overtaking too much of it after we have these we can go ahead and add a transform node and this is where we're going to animate the movement that you wanted to have and this can be anything so you don't have to you're not bound by any rules in here it's really up to what you think looks cool so you can experiment with these in this case i'm just going to make these random And if you press play, you'll see that it moves a little bit. Doesn't look that great. So what I like to do in this case is go to the spline, select everything with pressing control A, and then you can either step in or step out. This is gonna make the cut or transition from keyframe to keyframe sharper. And it's gonna just look like, like that. So basically it takes out the curves. This part is really up to you. The movement that you have, it's gonna really be up to you obviously and i think the issue with the contrast oops not the drop shadow now i think the contrast or the brightness is causing a few issues right here so in this case i'm gonna put this before the mask that we have here that was not gonna go and affect everything around it like, like we just saw it in the preview preview so we have this little cutter showing up right there and then it disappears but it doesn't look that smooth so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the effects and go and add a blur dissolve at the end of these and it starts disappearing before because we cannot really make these longer so how do we make these longer we can go to the, so we can right click into this future composition open this in a timeline because this is a freeze frame, we can just stretch it out and it's going to last however long you want it to be. So now we can actually go to this transition and make these be out there. So it disappears after that scene happens. But the, there's a little bit of a cutout right here that it's not that good. If you have more characters coming in like that, it's probably going to look better. But in this case, what you can do is add any other type of effect here to the bottom clips. I, that was just an experiment. I just tried it right there and it looks all right. So yeah, it's really up to you. And the first clip that you saw the uh, in the intro, it was actually the burn transition that comes with Fusion. I just played around with a few little settings there. But yeah, so that is how you can do these and add that effect like that. So this is just a basic so that you understand the idea of how to start these. And then from there on, you can just play around and add more of your own touch into these this is just a little basic video so that you understand the concept and the way that you would start i'm gonna make another short video that is gonna cover that second effect that you saw that way this video is not too long and this is actually sim even simpler it's just grabbing freeze frames and cutting them out and then just putting them around your scene so yeah there's gonna be a new another video on this one make sure to check that out when i post it if you're interested i'm gonna try to make them both so that they are all in the same week so that is it for this video if you like it and enjoy it make sure to leave a like on this video and i will see you in the next video here in swabi bye